what was your reaction when Jaden Shackelford first went in the portal and then when he told you that he was going to withdraw from the portal and come back to Alabama? Because it looked you know, like he was gone. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, I wasn't necessarily surprised when he went in the portal because I like so he, the, the, him and his family were all in the NBA. Let's get the feedback, and, and they they wanted to go. Like, and I, I get it. He led, I and mean, we were fifth best team in the country last year in both polls at the end. He was our leading scorer, but you know he had some stuff he needed to work on. We got the feedback from the NBA. He wasn't going to get drafted, so that they they were smart. They made a smart decision. Now he's going to go back to school. Well, they're still really dead set, which which is fine. I want players in our program that want to go to the NBA. If at this level, if we're trying to be top ten in the country, and you don't have guys that want to play in the NBA, you're probably recruiting the wrong kids. So they wanted, they, you know, they're dead set on making a team NBA, which which I'm all with. So they need they just need to make sure in their minds that they're in the right program that would give them the best chance to make it to the NBA. So I wasn't surprised. Like we had been in communication with them. So that, and obviously with how well he scores it, he had a lot of interest. So I, I I wasn't surprised, but I was disappointed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't want you don't want your leading scorer to go in a portal. I mean, it's doesn't look good. You know, we didn't have yeah, we didn't have anybody else going to portal. So you know, everybody else wanted to come back. So it, at, at some level, it was a little disappointing. But but it was I wasn't surprised. And I wasn't necessarily mad. So shoot, we just started recruiting them. And I'll say this. I, some of the coaches, maybe with the portal, you know, like they get mad at the kid, quit talking. Like, I mean, if the kid says you're still an option to come back to Alabama, we have more leverage in recruiting than anybody else. Like, we were able to go see him when it was a dead period because he's still our student athlete. He was still enrolled in summer school. We could go out there. We took, I went out there three times. Petway went out there three times. Hodgson went out there once. Like, so you went hard. We were, you went hard at him. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted him back. Yeah. Shoot, I mean, it's a good thing we had him back. We want to beat Gonzaga. You know, like, I mean, it's – no, I mean, he he knows how to play in our system. He's a tough he's a tough kid. He, he can shoot it. He can score it. Like, we weren't going to find anybody to replace him at that stage. And then when Amari Burnett tore his ACL, I mean, it's a good thing we had him back. Like, I mean, our, our perimeter depth would have been disastrous after Amari tore his ACL if we didn't have him back. So, I, we were ecstatic when we got him back. And, and you know, and we – we're trying to work on everything that he needed to work on to make himself, you know, an NBA player and get, you know, so I think he's, he's been great since he got back. It wasn't like, you know, he's been really good. So he's been playing well for us too. Coach, I feel like, and you might've just sort of answered this, but I feel like it would be human nature to be pissed if it was, if I'm you, how, how do you handle that? I just, I think it, it's, if I'm in your shoes, I would, I would think, this guy doesn't think that I can get him there. And I'm not saying that that's what he thought, but how, how do you not get pissed off when he does that? Yeah, that's interesting. I, I think a lot of guys maybe do, and that's why not very many put their name in a portal and come back. Cause right. They, it's you know, awkward for the player. Yeah, and I mean, it is. So I did, but I, again, like, I, I don't know that I was pissed. And I, I was more like, just like, okay, this is okay. Let's figure out, you know, we were communicating with him, his mom, his dad, and, and the agent that was kind of helping him, like we, you know, we talked. So I, I wanted, you know, we figured out what they were thinking. All right, so here's what you think, and here's what you, you know, and it, they they wanted to be involved in more ball screens and this and that. Well, we, I, you know, and I'm obviously biased. So, but you guys are supposed to be unbiased. So I'm gonna assume you are. I think we play closer to what the NBA plays than anybody else in high major basketball. Very like true. If you turn on an NBA game with the five out with our system and their system. It looks a lot more like what the NBA does than most college systems. Yep. So our thing to him, and you know, and, and it is, I mean, you could show video, you show like analytics, all this. So I think down deep, he knew that, but he wanted to be assured that he was going to get the opportunity. So I, I was uh, disappointed might be the word, but I wasn't even that disappointed. I just like, all right, here's what we got to do. We got to recruit him back. Let's go. Like, is that what you thought like, from, from moment one, Nate, did you think, we got to recruit him back, or was moment one like, all right, we lost them? No, I, I never felt like we lost them. I felt like we got some work to do. Yeah. Like, but I, and, and as a staff, we talked about it. I said, look, we're not finding anybody better than him. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. this literally has to be our top recruit right now. I mean, it, it you know, and some, I'm sure most coaches, it stinks you got to go recruit your own kid back, but like, 
it's a different age right now. If you got to recruit your own kid back, you got to recruit your own kid back. But <laughs> right, like, right. Swallow <laughs> some pride, right? You swallow some pride and do it. Yeah, exactly. Don't like, don't let your ego get in the way. Like if, if we let our ego get in the way and told them to move on, like yep. we probably don't, we don't beat Gonzaga. We, you know, and we're not nearly as good as we're, yeah. we're not top 10. So I like, I, I, I try to always say, even since I was a high school, school coach and I had kids transfer out because they weren't going to play enough and, you know, coaches turn them into the state, make them sit, punish the kid. Like, I, like do what's right by the kid every time and it'll work itself out. Like, so I, what was right for our program was recruiting back. What was right for Jaden Shackelford was he needed. And again, if you put an ultimatum on him, like, okay, if you put your name in the portal, you're not coming back. Well, and he's decided to come back in the back of his mind. He would always, yeah. yeah is there something better for me out there? If you let him go see if they're, and then they talk to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you're convinced that this is the right spot. So now he's all in back, and he's been great since he came back, like really good. So sometimes you got to let him make a decision and be convinced this is the right spot for him.